Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the One Stop Co-op Shop. We're going to start episode two. Paul is our elder apostle. Let's draw our trial card. We'll grab this, and we have Legalism Splits Church. We're going to lose half of our church members in every church in the region. Oh, <laughs> another hard card. Fortunately for us, there are only two churches in this blue region. But one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to lose two here and two here. Moving to the praying phase, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have James play Devoted Obedience and one of his basic cards. And that's all he's going to be able to do going forward. And Paul over here, he's going to grab this one because we're going to use it for its book, I think. We're going to get another one of the New Testament books. And then we're just going to do one of his Paul cards because... I mean, we could use this, but at the end of the round, we're going to get out of jail anyways. So and this just doesn't seem worth it to me. Let's give that message die a roll, and we rolled an eight, so we're good. We're going to use this one from Paul so we get another book. And we're going to use Devoted Obedience, so now we get a total of four movement. This is our second book. We only need seven more. Our first two movement is going to be to move one church member from Cyrene over here to the boat, and then everybody on this boat here to Syracuse. This way, this church can grow at the end of the round. For the move phase, we're going to grab our missionary meeple, two more of these for movement one, and then movement two, we're going to move all of these over here to Gaza. Now we get to grow churches. We get to grow the one in Gaza. We get to grow the one over here with James, even though they have the missionary stop. And we'll also grow this church with Paul and this church here in Syracruz. At the end of this round, Paul is no longer in jail, so we can discard this. And now, James becomes the Elder Apostle. Starting that second live phase, we'll draw our trial card. Oh, Mount Vesuvius erupts! This is probably the worst card in the game. <laughs> the largest two churches on the board are extinguished. Remove converted city leaders. Our two largest churches are the one here and this one here. This one fully removed and this missionary is gone. This one, all of the church members are removed and this missionary is gone, but an apostle can't be removed from the game. If they're ever removed from a location, they run back to Jerusalem. On top of that, we have now extinguished our first two candles. And if ever we extinguish the last three, we lose the game. For praying for this round, we're just going to have Paul play his two basic cards and James only has basic cards left. We'll now roll that messenger die and we rolled a one. Oh, that's terrible. With rolling a one, just like when you roll twos or threes, you're not able to talk. Doesn't matter for solo, but remove one church member from the elders church. <laughs> So he ran back to Jerusalem, and then they took away another church member. That means Jerusalem won't even be big enough to grow. Ow. We're definitely going to use both of James's cards so we can do a total of four movements. The first thing we're going to do is move James back over here to Caesarea. That way, Caesarea can continue to grow. Now that Paul is out of jail, he is going to move and do a missionary move over to here to Corinth. Our third movement, we're going to take this missionary and do a missionary move over here to Brundisium. We're going to have to forfeit our fourth move because we do not have enough church members on the board. So we're simply just going to grow the three churches that we can here, here, and here. So, I mean, it's, it's not great, but it's not terrible. But we are looking really low on our church members. I really like to see two in each location. And right now, I'm essentially at one. <laughs> Uh, but it, you got to do what you got to do. Moving to the mature phase, James is definitely going to get one level two card and Paul is going to get one level three card. James will pick one of these two. He'll either take this one that gives Galatians ooh, and adds a missionary back. We've lost three missionaries, so that'd be nice. Oh, and it's the exact same card. So I think we'll take this one, huh? Put that in our discard pile and put this at the bottom of the deck. For Paul, we're going to grab either Household Saved, oh, more church members, we really need that, or the Macedonian Vision. Yeah, I gotta go Household Saved. We just need to find more ways to get church members. We're just, we're losing them left and right. 
Now we'll move back to the arm phase, and James has exactly six cards left in his hand. And Paul has one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have it wrong. James has one, two, three, four, five. That's why I shuffled his deck. Here we go. And six. Perfect. Paul will become our Elder Apostle, and we'll start his turn by drawing our next trial card, Caesar Cult Enforced. This means we'll reduce the church that Paul is in by half, and then in that church, all apostles have to move out. So we have a total of four church members here. We're going to lose two, and Paul has to run away over here to Brunduism. Okay, we have a lot of options here. I think the first thing we need to do is start building our church back up. So I think Paul is going to play Household Saved and then play one of his basic cards. We're going to have James play one of the books. We can add another book. So we'll add Peter, uh, the Peter books, and we'll do one of his moves. We'll give that message die a roll, and we rolled an eight. You see that? Perfect. Whew! We're going to add two more church members to Paul's church, and we're going to throw down another book. This is book three. Nice. Only six more to go. Two more church members here to Brundisium. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's awesome. We're then for our two moves going to do a missionary move over here to Ostia and bring two more church members here. And then we're going to have Paul move himself back over to here to Corinth. We then get to grow our churches, and we have three of them that will grow. Nice. Moving to James, being the Elder Apostle, we'll draw our next trial card, and we have imprisoned. So now James is imprisoned. Go figure. Having James imprisoned really stinks, because I was going to do this and start doing a huge push, but we're not really going to be able to do that because James can't move. But I don't want to not play this because it gets into my discard pile and I have to wait for it to come around. So I think I'm still going to play the crowd accepts faith because they see James in prison and yet he's, they see he still is preaching <laughs> or something like that. Who knows? And then we'll just do one of James's basic cards. And then for Paul, we're going to do a basic Paul card. And let's do this one because if nothing else, we can just add another church member. We'll now move to the message die roll and we roll a seven. We are good. I think we're going to play both of these cards. Crowd accepts faith, faith, and then add one church member to any church. We're going to add one church member here so this missionary can keep on moving. And then we're going to add five glorious church members over here. Look at this church. I love it. We've got ourselves a total of two movement. So what we can do is we'll move Paul here to Athens and we'll move this missionary over here. Uh, should I bring two? I'll just bring these so I can leave two here over to Rome. Nice. Then we can grow both Athens and Rome. And I would say this church in Caesarea would grow, right? Looks a little big. <laughs> Now we'll move into that mature phase, and I think I'm going to have James just use the two faith here, not here, and buy another two faith card. But Paul has a total of four here, so let's buy a four cost faith card. So James can either grab uh, Luke's and Acts, which we don't have, or Matthew and Mark, also which we don't have. So I like this uh, secondary ability, so let's go with Matthew and Mark, and we'll put Luke on the bottom. For Paul, we can either get Divine Pruning. All apostles may remove up to four cards from their decks, draw and discard piles, and place them in the box. <gasps> Whoa! That would allow us to get rid of some of our basic starting cards, which would be awesome. Okay. Or we have Traveling Teacher, plus one church member for each church in the region. Oh my gosh, these are both good. <laughs> I'm telling you, these four-cost faith cards are awesome. I can't believe I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do the divine pruning. It's just going to allow us to get to our other good cards more often. This is great, but if I fill up my deck with a ton of cards, I'm not going to get to it as much. James will move down to number two here for the imprisonment, and we'll move the elder uh, apostle over to Paul. We'll now arm ourselves. James has exactly six here, so we'll flip them all over. Yeah, they're almost all basics. And Paul, one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> yes, divine planning or pruning. Awesome. 
Let's start that next live round. We'll draw our next trial card. We have persecution. Paul's church is going to be reduced by half, and then the largest church in the region is going to have to spread out. What that means is only one church member can remain in that city. All others must move to other cities. So we have a total of four church members here. We're going to lose half. So we only have two, and now we have to spread out. And we have to do that based on the region, but this region only has one church. So Paul over here is going to run back over here to Corinth. Now the advantage of doing that is Corinth is now large enough to continue to grow. Thank goodness. Moving to the prey phase, we're going to have James play and pray two of his basic cards. We're then going to have Paul play one of these cards and one of these cards. Let's give that message die a roll. A six. We're good. We'll have a total of three movement this round and we'll gain two more church members. Even with persecution, our church continues to move forward. I like it. Now with our three movement, we're going to move Paul over to here with two more church members so we have enough here to do another missionary move or mission move. So our second move will be to move to here in Thessalonica. We have one more movement and why not? Let's move from Rome all the way over here to Achillea. We can grow our churches. We only have three that are growing. And I would say, I think my strategy overall is working, but I'm stretching myself really thin. A bad trial card and we could have some problems. I have so many places with only one church member. We'll move James' imprisonment down to one. And now James will become the elder apostle. Let's get our next trial card. And we have scrolls burned. Another hard one. We have to lose two books of the New Testament. If they're not enough word cards or book cards, per card that you cannot lose, we would have to snuff out a candle. That's the reason why I already have three books, but I'm going to have to reduce that all the way down to one. We'll have to burn James, Hebrews, and Jude, and the other will be Timothy, Timothy, and Titus. Ugh. These two will go back to the bottom of the, te the deck. For praying, I think what we're going to do is have James simply play his two basic cards because we're going to play Paul's divine pruning and the angelic escape. Come on, message die, be nice to me. A seven, yes. We're going to play both of these cards. So first of all, James just got a get out of jail for free card. Awesome. And then with this divine pruning, Paul is going to be able to eliminate four of his basic cards and James is going to eliminate three of his in this authentic fellowship. So all of those will be removed from our decks. Yeah. We do still have two movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to move uh, James over here. And we're going to bring with him all of these. That's so awesome. Then he's going to come all the way over to Alexandria. And this way, we're going to grow all of these churches, and then he can move himself back here and start exploring to the west. This means all three of these churches will grow, and both of these churches will grow as well. Moving to that mature phase, as much as I want to be able to buy a level four faith card, now we need to get a bunch of level two cards to get all of the books. So I've got five faith here and four faith here. I'm going to have each of them buy two two faith cards. James will get into his discard pile, the Thalassians, which we need, and Matthew and Mark. We need both of those. Great. And then Paul will get the Romans. We need the Romans and Peter, and he doesn't need per Peter, but that's okay. We can still use it as a move card. We'll arm ourselves back up to six. One, two, three, four, and then the discard pile, five and six. And then for Paul, one, two, three, four, five, and one more, six. If you look at the board, we're doing okay. We have all of this area still we need to uh, go and create churches, but that's really it. Although I did miss, miss Carthage over here, Ugh. and I don't have any missionaries or any apostles over here, so I'm going to have to spend a lot of movement getting over there, and that was just poor planning on my part. But overall, I think I'm doing okay on the map. I really got to focus on those books now. Moving back into the live phase, let's draw our trial card. And we have persecution again. They apparently really don't like Paul in this region. <laughs> so first what's going to happen is 
in Paul's region or in Paul's location, we lose half of our church members. Then the largest church in that region has to spread out. We have a total of five church members here, so we're going to lose two. And then these two are going to have to run back to Athens. <laughs> For praying this round, James is going to play his card and the crowd accepts faith. And then Paul is going to play one of his cards and the devoted obedience. Looking for a three through eight here. A six, we're good. Now we are talking, you guys. Devoted obedience and crowd accepts faith. We're going to place five church members where Paul is. Apparently, Christianity likes being persecuted here because every time Paul gets pushed around, he gains more church members. We'll place the five church members here in Athens, and now we have four moves. So I think the first thing we're going to do is move once to here, once all the way over here to the Philippi, and we'll leave two, so we'll go like this. Movement three, we're going to grab all of these and come over here to Troas, looks like. Yep, and we still have four here. So we're going to do one more missionary move to Smyrna right here. So we get ourselves out of this region. We now have a lot of churches on the board that are going to grow, which is awesome. So we'll grow this church. We'll keep growing this church, this one over here, this one over here by James, and then the one down here in Achelia. The Elder Apostle will now become James, and we'll draw our next trial card. Oh, segregated church! These are called growth stops, and in that specific region, no matter how many church members we have, we cannot add more church members there. We're going to have to place two of them in the location where James is at. Apparently, people are not playing very nice in Alexandria. For praying this round, we're going to have James play one of his basic cards, and then we're going to play this one because we have two Thessalonians in our hand. Let's get one of the books up for sure. And then for Paul, we'll play one of these for Paul, and uh, let's do John, just in case. We'll give the message die a roll. Yeah, we rolled an eight. I'm loving this die right now. I think it's going to be very important we get our books completed. So let's do the Thessalonians and John. We'll place the Thessalonian book right here, and the John book right here. We have a total of two movement we can do, so we're going to do one where we're simply going to move with this missionary two of our church members over here to Beria, and that's going to finish that region. We're then, instead of worrying about Alexandria here, we're going to move everyone but two out over to Gaza, and we're slowly just going to move our apostle over here. We're just not going to worry about growing this church. Moving to the mature phase, I think we're going to have James buy another two two-pointer cards. But we're going to have Paul, who has a total of five here, buy one four-faith card. For our two-faith cards, we have John. Ah, oh, we don't need John. And we have Luke. We do need Luke. Good. Both of these will go into James' deck. For Paul, he can pick one of these two. We have unexpected gift. Elder may select two cards to play during the share action in place of this one card. We'll play three cards total. Whoa! Oh, that's kind of cool. Or we have Perform Miracles, plus two uh, church members for each missionary meeple and each uh, apostle. Oh, that gets us more church members. But this would allow us to potentially get more books. I actually think I'm going to do this one because I think our issue is going to be getting all the books out. So we'll do Unexpected Gift. <laughs> Performing miracles looks so good, though. Let's arm ourselves for the next round. One, two, three, four for James, plus two more. Five, yes, and six. One, two, three, four, five for Paul, and then one more, six. Nice. Moving the Elder Staff over to Paul, we'll reveal our next trial card. We have a flood! Now, this could not have happened in a better spot. <laughs> we lose one church member for every church in the region. Remember how I pushed myself into this region just at the end of the last round? If I hadn't done that, I would have potentially been snuffing out churches because churches only have one church member. But here, we have more than enough. We just lost one church member. That's it. We had a flood here in Cyrenia. We're okay. Look at this. Fully unique 
cards in each hand. That hasn't happened yet. You can see how this game progresses. I love it. Okay, definitely grabbing crowd accepts face. It's going to be great if Paul can get a bunch of followers in that new region. He can push right through. Let's also just grab our James card. And then over here, let's grab the Romans in case we want to uh, play that for a card. And I think let's just do this get out of jail. I don't know. You know what? We're going to do... No, household saved. No, no, I don't know. Um, Peter, because we definitely don't need Peter. Let's do this one. Let's give the messenger die a roll. We rolled a four. We're good. Let's do our crowd accepts faith and place out another book. This will be book number four, only five left. We'll then place the five church members here. Nice. And then now we get two movements. We're going to go one, two. We'll leave two here. Bring Actually, you know what? We're going to have three here and then move ourselves here to Paragaminium. And then that way, both of these will grow. So let's grow our churches. So we'll place one here, one here. We've got two more churches over here that are going to grow. And then these two churches that will grow. We'll move back to having James be the elder apostle. And we're going to reveal this card. I don't want to lose half of my church members. I've got so many. We have hide from persecution. We cannot move within the region that James is in. That is totally, totally fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have James play these two. And we're going to have Paul play this angelic escape and the devoted obedience. We'll give the messenger die a roll. And we rolled a three. So normally that would be a little bit worse playing co-op. Solo doesn't really matter. We're going to play Devoted Obedience, so we get four total movement, and we're going to place another book. This is great. We now only have four books left. We can't move within the region that James is at, but we can move within the other regions. So what my plan is, is I'm going to grab these two and do some fellowship moves. One, two, three, and then do a mission move from here. And we have to have at least four, which we do, and move to the boat. That way, next round, we can get to Carthage, and we've completed that area as well. Moving to that mature phase, we are still missing some books. So what I'm going to do is have James buy two more two-pointers. And even though I have seven here for Paul, I'm going to do the same thing. Two more two-pointers. So that way, we're going to find all those blasted books, have them in our deck, so hopefully we can draw them and get them out. So the first two will go to James. So we've got James. <laughs> Great. That's one of the ones we need. And Timothy. That's another one that we need. Perfect. And then Galatians. Pff, that's another one we need. And Luke. Luke is, n yeah, Luke is another one that we need. Wow. Those are all four of the ones that we need. There's only two of these left for the two faith cards. I'm getting so excited, you guys, I almost forgot to grow my churches. So we're going to definitely grow this one with Paul. We're going to grow this one over here. We're going to grow this huge church because once we get James over here, James can come across here and pick up all those church members. We're going to uh, grow uh, Aquaquia there, Aquia or whatever, and then we're going to grow the boat. Perfect. I wasn't sure if I was going to stop here or keep going, but we're close. We only have one, two, three, four, five more trial cards. So I think we're going to push through and finish this game in this video. So we've got one plus four. So that's five for Paul. One more is six. And we have one, two, three, four, five for James. Plus one is six. We'll now move the elder apostle to Paul. And we'll reveal our next trial card. Oh, false teachers. We're going to have to lose a church member and add a missionary stop and a growth stop to our location. Losing one church member is not the end of the world. Uh, the growth stop, as long as we're going to be able to get rid of this mission stop, I think we'll be okay. For this round, we're definitely going to have Paul pray his basic, one of his basic cards, and... Probably this household saves so we can get more church members over there. James is going to do Luke because that will allow us to place the Luke book out. And let's just do one of his basic cards. Let's give this die a roll. Oh, we rolled a two. So now we have to pick it up and roll again. And we rolled a seven. 
Oh, fortunately for us, a two and a seven is just a grow stop. We don't have to worry about placing a second mission stop. That's what I did not want to do. If that had been a mission stop, I would have been so ticked. <laughs> we're going to play Luke and we're going to do a mission stop removal. With Luke, that means we're only missing three books. We can also remove this mission stop. Perfect. Now we get to do two movements. What we're going to do is we're going to do one movement to move all of those church members here. And then two, we're going to come all the way over here to Antioch. And we're going to bring all but two of them. Oops, just knocked over Paul. <laughs> all but two of them right here. Moving into the grow phase, we'll continue to grow the church on this boat. They must be just hanging out, having some fun. And just because I'm starting to get low on church members, I'm going to place just one here and one here. And that should be good. We'll move the elder staff over to James, and we literally have four more rounds. That's it. Okay, let's see what we have now. Church fed to the lions. We have to lose two church members. That is not terrible, and we're going to have to spread out, which also isn't terrible. That actually helps us a little bit. Thank you, lions. What we can do is remove these two church members and then move everybody else over here to Caesarea. Awesome. Now we've got tons that we can move. During prayer, we're definitely going to grab Timothy because that's one of the remaining three books we need. We'll also grab James's card for an extra movement. We'll grab Paul's card here, and let's just do this one just in case. We'll give that mission die a roll. That's a one, so we're going to lose a church member. I mean, I guess with a church this big, it's kind of no wonder we might lose a church member. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to do Timothy and do James. So we have a total of three movement this round. We're only looking for two more books, Galatians and James. Our first movement will be to move all of these over here to Carthage. Yes, we have now completed the uh, brown region. Our second movement is going to be James and his posse. He's going to move all of these over. Let's leave three here in Caesarea. And we're moving all of them to here. Now, we cannot do a mission move until we get rid of that uh, mission stop marker. Finally, let's do our third movement with Paul, and we'll move to Lystra. We'll now grow both of these two churches by one. And I think to be safe, we're also going to grow this church. But that's it. In our mature phase, I think the only thing we're going to buy is two four faith cards, one for each of our apostles. So James can pick between Earthquake Jailhouse, it removes everyone from jail, or Confess and Repent, remove all grow stops. Yeah, neither of those are great. Let's do this one. I think I've already done all the jail cards that we've seen. So then this is going to be for Paul. Ooh, carried off by spirit. Move the Elder Pond to any city in the region or any church on the board. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Or convert city leaders. Lose no members in this church. Yeah, I think we're going to do carried off. It'll be nice to be able to move around. We each have exactly six cards left in our deck. Okay, I just want to see, do we have Galatians and James in our hand? We have James. How about Galatians? We have Galatians. Awesome. So we should be able to get the rest of the books out. Okay, Paul will become our elder apostle. Let's draw our trial card. Okay, it's not a terrible one. Gladiators Games. This is not bad. All we have is a grow stop we have to place and we'll lose one church member. We'll place a grow stop here and simply remove one of these church members. For praying this round, we're going to grab James for sure. And then I think we're going to grab Devoted Obedience. And then over here, we'll just simply grab the Galatians. Oh no, the Galatians is the one that we need. So let's do one that we don't need. Now we'll do Luke and we'll do Peter. Let's give that die a roll. And we roll the seven. Nice. We're going to play smart here, and you'll see what I mean by that. I'm going to play James as a book, and then we're going to get four movement. Now all we need is Galatians, and it's in our hand. Awesome! We have a total of four movement. So this is what we're going to do. We have enough here to do a mission move to here for one. And I'm just going to send our apostle over here. So that was one. Now we have created a church here. So movement two, we can now move from this city because it's not a mission move. It's a fellowship move and move all of these over to here for 
too. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, I don't want both of our apostles in the same region, and I still have one over here I need to go to. So I'm going to take Paul and go three, four, and just have him bring two more so he can end here. We'll then grow just these three churches. Great. We're now on our second to last card, and we have Proconsul Crackdown. I should mention this is happening in James's area because James is now the elder apostle. So we have to roll the die once. On a one through four, we place a mission stop on every church in the region. Oh man, or a five through eight, every church in the region would get a grow stop. That would be much better. Let's see what we get. That's an eight. Yes. All we have to do is place a grow stop here and here. Okay, so we're definitely going to play the Galatians, not even a question. And then we'll play uh, James, and we're going to play Devoted Obedience here, and it doesn't really matter which other one we're going to play. We now have to roll for the message die. We rolled a six. We're good. Oh, I think we just won the game with one round to spare. <laughs> we're going to play Galatians. That's going to finish our book, and then we have four movement we can make. This is our final book of the New Testament. I spoke too soon, you guys. I have Cyphers here. I still need to do Cyphers, so I still need to have one more round. Because what I can do is go one and bring all of these with, okay? Ah. And then two, three, four, and we'll leave two in each spot. And so we would have enough to do that. Yep. But we don't have... <laughs> Cyphers, that's our one location. Yeah, because that's here. So what we'll do is we'll grow all of these churches that we can, just in case. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. And you know what? During this mature phase, I'm not going to buy anything. Just simply going to discard these cards. We'll then draw back up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Final round. We have one more round. And don't forget, Paul will be our elder apostle. If I knew all the cards, I would know what this is. But I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a hard one. Extreme famine. We have to lose a church member six times in the region where Paul is. Oh my goodness, we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. We didn't lose any churches. <laughs> But that was mighty, mighty close. I'm not even going to show you their whole hands. These are the last four cards they're going to play. These two for James, these two for Paul. All right, James, you better roll well here. An eight. <laughs> yes. We'll just play these two cards, and now, and now we have won the game. All we actually needed is two movement. We'll go one, two, and now we have a church in every city, and we have all the books of the Testament. Huh, so there you have it. You couldn't have gotten it much tighter than that. <laughs> Absolutely the last round, being able to finish it off. And that's usually what, what happens with this game. I mean, I've played it on hard. I almost always play it on hard. I'd suggest that. I think at the easier levels, it's a little bit too easy. Um, but I will also say it is much more difficult playing co-op, especially when you play with this messenger die, so you can't talk about what you're praying or maybe ideas because people have to do stuff with no one else talking. So I really enjoy that mechanic. I really like how you know each time you play this, they come up in a different order and different things happen. You just got to watch out for those cards that totally eliminate churches or totally eliminate your, your scrolls. So make sure to get books out as soon as you can, just in case you draw one of those. So I would say if this theme connects with you at all, you're going to like the game. And even if the theme doesn't connect with you, you can kind of see that anti-pandemic feel of the game. Thank you all so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you at the next stop. <laughs>